Now, for us to solve this, we are going to take 3 raised to the power x. And then we are going to raise it to the inverse of 9 multiplied by x. 9 multiplied by x is 9x. So we raise it to the power 1 over that 9x. And that will be equal to x raised to the power 9. We also do the same thing to this side. So whatever we have done here, we also do it here. So we're going to raise this to power 1 over 9x. So here, 9, we cancel 9. And here, x, we cancel x. So we now have 3 raised to the power 1 over 9. And that will be equal to x raised to the power 1 over x. Don't forget what is left here is 1 over x. Now that we have this, what we are going to do now is to keep taking 3 raised to the power of numbers from 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on until we arrive at a particular value. So it's going to be 3 raised to the power this is 1 now. So by the time I make this 2, I'm going to make this 1 over 18. So that 2 divided by 9, I mean 2 divided by 18 will take me to 1 over 9. So don't forget, this is 2 over 18. So it will take me back to 1 over 9. And then is equal to x raised to power 1 over x. Then if I check 3 raised to power 2 is 9, is not equal to 18 yet. So I can move on to 3 raised to power 3. And then raised to the power. After 9, 18, the next one is 27. 1 over 27. So you keep going on 9, 18, 27, 36 and so on. Until you arrive at a value that this one will be exactly equal to this. So we can stop here now because 3 raised to the power 3 is equal to 27. So once we have arrived at a value that are equal, then we know that we are close to our answer. So we can say 27 now raised to the power 1 over 27 because 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 and that's equal to x raised to the power 1 over x. Now if you check we can compare now because this is 27, 27, this is x, x. So once we compare, we can now get the final answer that x is equal to 27 as the final answer.